Well, good morning, everybody. Hello, Luna. Luna. Say hello, Luna. Well, anyway, folks, today's a very special day. Three different things. Today's my Aunt Helen's birthday. She was my grandmother's oldest sister. She married late in life. Sadly, they never had children. She lived in a high-rise apartment with my Uncle Charlie. He was he was married by marriage. And they never had children. You know, sweet. she was very tiny, but a very sweet lady. And also today marks the day that Peter Pan in 1966, where I played a lost boy. How, the, the show was amazingly cast. All the small ones, like my age, middle school age kids, were lost boys. The girls were teen, the teen girls played the Indians, and the teen boys were the pirates. It's a very talented cast. And also, today's another day, International Cousins Day. I can't go through the whole list of cousins. I have too many out there. We'll be filming for two hours. I don't want to do that. We'll make it blueberry cobbler today. I'll give you the names of my first cousins. Judy, George, uh, Dennis, and Shirley Ann. A few of my second cousins is Millicent, uh, Jerry, Eugene, Carol. I mean, that's about as far as I can go. We're going to melt the butter in this baking pan, and we're going to start with the blueberries and start getting everything ready to go. We're adding in about uh, three cups of blueberries. Okay. It's definitely blueberry season. Blueberries is definitely a summer fruit. Yeah, there's, like I said, so many things on this one day, and Helen's birthday, and I can't play Peter Pan. Very good play. It was a sleepaway camp. I did not like sleepaway camp. Keep this in mind, folks. I didn't care for sleepaway camp too much, but I enjoyed doing the play. But the one thing I really enjoyed doing is being a lost boy. The boy who played Captain Hook was quite good. I don't really know what ever happened to him, but he was a very good actor. And like I said, today's also International Cousins Day. I guess got too many cousins out there to even name. I just should be more than enough blueberries. I don't want to run out of blueberries because... There we go. There's more than enough. Get all these blueberries off the sink. Dry because we don't want to mess in here. Okay. Now what, what I want to do now is I want to... Okay. I'm going to put in uh, a half a cup of sugar. Now Aunt Helen, I'm sure, like my grandma, was obviously a had to be a baker because her mom was a baker. My grandma baked. So obviously Aunt Helen, but just want to add in some lemon juice. This is bristle. There we go. This is bristle. My grandma used to call it a dash here, a dash there. She never mentioned anything, and for some reason, her food was fantastic. We're going to mix this together. And let this sit while we do the, the uh, crust. All right, for the crust, for the, for the topping, I added six tablespoons of butter, which is already melted. I'm going to add in one cup of flour. One cup of sugar. This is going to go on the topping. Here we go. Remember the wrong things is what happens when you get up early in the morning. You're not awake yet. Oh, okay. One cup of sugar. I'm adding a baking powder. Two teaspoons of baking powder. All right, let me see where my eyes are not very good in the morning. I might need help with my camera lady. Here we go. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Here we go. Here we go. Put okay, this over here. I gotta get one more thing out of the, the chili powder. No, the cinnamon. This is a joke that we have going right now in this household. It's cinnamon and chili powder. Just better be cinnamon. Right, camel lady cinnamon? Okay. Now we're gonna mix this together. And we put this over here. I wanna add in three fourths cup of milk. We're going to mix it together and it's going to form into a dough. Use whole milk. Here we go. Now I want to mix this together. Just wash this off real fast. Not that it's going to really matter because it's all going to go to the same place either way. Mix this together. It's sort of going to look like pancake batter, but it's not. Really almost a batter, not a dough. Sorry, folks. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is, as you can see, this butter is just about melted. Maybe a little bit left over that's not completely melted. It's going to melt in as it cooks. All right, let me throw this all out. We don't want a mess. What I want to do now is I want to add in the blueberries. You can use a cake pan. You can use any kind of pan you want to use. There we go. Spread this out. 
Now, guys, if I were to mention all my cousin, I think my film would be going all day today, folks. And we're going to spread this. It's a little bit different than what I made a few days ago when I made the peach cob. It's a different kind of dough. This should, this should definitely rise. It's very loose. to put on cinnamon powder. Yes, this is definitely cinnamon, not chili powder. This is a joke we have going on in my house. A little cinnamon. Pop this in the oven and bake this for about a good 35 minutes until... And here we have a delicious blueberry uh, cobbler in honor of my Aunt Helen. It's actually her birthday today. My grandmother's oldest sister in Peter Pan, 1966, and International Cousins Day. I got too many cousins out there to give you the names. Blueberry cobbler is a summer dish that goes great with ice cream. From Deborah Ray's Home Country Kitchen. Have a great day. Please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.